Happy Saturday, you beautiful 99ers. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far. I am Sway to the 99, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I do post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesdays are my cooking videos where I make meals using ingredients from the 99. And Saturdays are my store walkthroughs, product reviews, and what's in my cart. So welcome, guys. I feel like I have not seen you in forever, even though I just posted a, a video on Wednesday and also on Monday. Um, but I love to interact with you guys. So I always look forward to these uh, store walkthroughs because, you know, I never know what we're going to find. And I do have a couple of um, wish list items. So I'm hoping that I found those today. Um, so before we go to the store today, I did want to do a very special shout out to a fellow 99er, a very good friend of mine, um, Veronica Sid or AKA House of Sid. She actually just started um, a few weeks ago a YouTube channel. Um, she's also a fellow 99er, but her channel is actually focused on traveling and budget traveling. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll just read you a quick um, bit of her bio. So it says, Latina creating videos to inspire love of travel, food and style, doing it all on a budget. So I wanted to guys let you guys know that she is out there and I will link her channel below. She is a great friend of mine and she is also a fellow 99er. So you probably have seen her um, Instagram, but today I'm really just focusing on her travel but, uh, videos. So right now she's actually posting a lot of videos in her travels to Mexico City. So it's really nice to see um, some of the amazing things you can find in Mexico um, and they're completely free. So she shows you how to do, you know, nice travel things on a budget. So, and she is out in Anaheim in Orange County. So she does show you also some of her like local finds. And I know she will be doing some travel in Europe in the upcoming few months. So if you are, if you are looking or interested in, in doing any travel, I would definitely highly say Go check her videos out and I will link her down below and please let her know that Sway to the 99 sent you guys. So please show her some love. She just started her channel and he just needs a little bit of support. So, you know, I think that's what we're all here to do is support each other and build a community. So, all right. So don't forget to check out um, House of Sid and again, I will link her down below. So before we do jump into our store walkthrough, I did want to do a quick product review for you guys. So while I was in Texas, I did haul the Glutino, um, uh, what are they called? Toaster pastries. Um, and I have to say, I absolutely love them. I did buy the, um, the strawberry one. I also bought the blueberry one and I love these things. I am on the hunt for them because I know that California did get them rather did get them. Um, and I'm just looking for more because I really did like them. The only thing I would say for me personally is that the frosting itself was a little thick. Um, so I did try to scrape some of that off just because for me personally, I didn't find it flavorful, but overall the, this product is so tasty. The actual, um, um, pastry itself with the filling was very good. Um, you wouldn't be able to be able to tell this is a gluten-free item. So, um, if you guys see it at your local 99, I would definitely say pick it up. And this one is completely empty because I, I love them. And the other thing too, is like normally if you get a, a um, what are they, just the regular toaster pastries? You usually get two in a pack. This one is actually one per pack. So you don't really feel guilty or if you don't feel the need to have to eat both in one sitting. Um, but this is a um, five pack. Um, but again, I highly recommend this. So I really hope I find more because this was actually really good. And like I said, the only thing I didn't like about it was the um, just the frosting on top. It just, I found it a little bit thick. It wasn't overly sweet. I just found it to be a little bit too thick for my taste. So. That is my one product review for the day. All right, guys, so let's go to the store and see what we find. Um, I can't wait. <laughs> Ooh, 99 cents for the ricotta cheese. This is a pretty huge one. This is 32 ounces and it's 99 cents, so it's not a bad deal. And it seems to have a lot. And these are all, oh, excuse me, these are also new. These Marie's uh, salad dressings. I know a lot of you um, probably have seen them at the 99 Shopaholics. Um, I didn't realize there were actually four flavors. I've only seen two. So be on the lookout for this, guys. And I also wanted to show you they also have the smaller um, Boat House mango juices. This is still a really great deal. I know we're used to, used to getting the bigger ones, but still 99 cents is not a bad deal. Guys, I also just bought a new butter. They have this promise. They have buttery and light, and it's 99 cents. I think this is, how many ounces is this? 15 ounces, which is not bad. So, be on the lookout. Ooh, look guys, they also have this other one, this Earthbound Farm 
sweet kale chopped salad kit and it comes with um, crispy onions, some seeds, dried raspberries, um, and I believe that's bacon. But anyway, so I think this one is $1.99, so definitely a great deal to have, because um, I've seen these at other stores and they go for about $5, so. And I wanted to show you guys another thing. This I have never seen before. Uh, sorry, excuse me, the camera. Um, these are edible squash blossoms. Has anyone seen these before? I've never seen them anywhere, so just wanted to show you guys um, this new item that's out here today. Cool, guys. The cherries have gone down in price. They are now $1.99 a pound. When they first came out, they were $2.99 a pound, so this is great news. Oh my god, you guys, look what I found. I've been so excited. I'm so excited. I've been looking for this forever. Well, since they came out. Um, since I saw it on Shopaholics on Facebook. Um, I've been looking for this apron. I think it's 99 cents. Yeah, I believe so. So even if it's 199, I will definitely get it because I've been on the hunt for this. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna wear this in my next cooking video because if you guys know me, you know I love pineapples. So I'm so glad I found it. Um, so yeah, I think it's a one size fits all or whatever. But anyway, I'm still gonna wear it. So I'm so excited I found it. And they also have the uh, flamingo version. So in case you're looking for that one as well. Ooh, I am so excited to be back in Cali. Look what I just found, the olive pesto and the hot chili pesto. I may grab a couple of these. And they also have the tahini. Um, lately, I feel like I've been on a very spicy kick, so I am think I'm going to get one of these as well. And if I can find some mangoes, that's even better. Nice little treat. Hey guys, look, they also have a new flavor now. They have the chicken ramen tapatio. I bought the original. Um, I have not tried it, but they also have the shrimp. So now they have shrimp and chicken. They also have this new coffee, Yuban. Well, we're not, it's not new, but it's new here. Um, what do you guys think? $2.99, is it worth it? Um, have you guys tried this coffee before? Um, I feel like I've seen it before in other stores and it's not very expensive. So I'm not sure if $2.99 is a good deal, but you guys let me know what you think and if it's worth the $3. So call me silly, but honestly, on the border, I actually thought it was just the name of, uh, of the brand of, of, of chips. But when I was in Dallas, I actually realized that it's actually a restaurant. And Mama Fornicole just laughed at me like, how do you not know that? Um, but we don't have them out here, in at least in the Bay Area. So I always thought, oh, they were just a you know, brand of chips. But you know, it turns out that they're actually a restaurant. So, And they, these actually are one of my favorite um, chips. So I guess they are known for their chips overall. But I do like these. Ooh, these are new at the 99. I have not seen these before. Um, let me let me let me know what you guys think about these um, no bake snacks. Do they actually look the way that they um, show in the picture, or at least taste close to it? So, just kind of curious. So, let me know. Ooh, this is definitely an exciting find. I was looking for this. These this is the mango habanero um, rice and quinoa. Um, this looks delicious, so this definitely makes a, a good meal. And they also have the creamy Parmesan rice. So I'm definitely gonna get those. And lucky me, they have more of the Isadora um, black beans. I love this stuff. This is definitely a great meal. A quick side for when you're coming home from work and you don't feel like cooking, you just throw this in the microwave. I literally buy these all the time, so I'm glad that these are back. So I'm definitely gonna get a couple of both of these um, as well. Okay, this is definitely new. I have not seen this before. This is the Korean barbecue, three easy steps. Just add meat or vegetables. So of course, you know, I'm definitely gonna take one of these and probably um, use it in an upcoming cooking video. Um, I thought this, you know, it's only 99 cents. And I love how it really does come with a lot. So I think you get your money's worth. And I have not seen this one yet, so I'm really excited to show you guys a new item. I know, I know it's silly, but I just haven't seen this one. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. So Tapatio seems to be taking over the 99. Um, however, I've, I did buy a couple of these, that are not the specific flavor, but just um, the Tapatio chips and I was not crazy about them. I felt like overall it smelled spicy, but once you bit into it, there was really not much flavor. So I would probably pass on these, you guys. Probably not worth it. Just checking out what they have in the home decor section. Uh, these look pretty nice. They are $1.99. These nice little double handle bowls. Surprisingly, they're pretty heavy. So I think $1.99 is a pretty good deal. Um, they also have these small 
um, dessert stands, they're $2.99. I remember getting the bigger one for, I think it was $3.99. Um, that was the glass one that you've probably seen in previous videos. Um, this store is a little messy this morning. <laughs> it is one of the smaller stores in the Bay. Um, this is actually the Berkeley location. I don't come here as often just because it's usually pretty small and always pretty messy. But I just wanted to come out and see what they had. Okay, so do not do these not look like Mickey Mouse <laughs> to you guys? So these are pretty cute um, little round balls. I think these are 99 cents. But anyway, I just want to show you guys. I have, oh yeah, actually they are 99 cents. I just want to show you guys because I have not seen these before. Um, oh, I love this little candle holder. So, yeah, nothing else new here. So I just wanted to guys show you guys what they have in today. Ooh, look guys, I found the peach coffee. Super exciting, 99 cents each. Ooh, I saw couponing for a cost haul these the other day, and I'm wondering how well they work. Um, it's always nice just to have these. I think they make um, just good things to have at home, or if you want to throw it in as a stocking stuffer, or yeah, stocking stuffer, um, or even just like a little side thing for um, someone's birthday. So, and they're only 99 cents. Wow, how cool are these socks? Look, they're Ninja Turtles, and what I like about it is that it's got the um, the uh, headband at the end. I believe these are 99 cents. And yep, nothing else marked on it. So I'm assuming they are 99 cents. And they have a whole bunch out here today. Ooh, these are new. I'm definitely gonna get one of these. I have not tried these before. I usually don't buy Mentos, but this um, this one caught my eye. So um, I think this is 99 cents. There's no price, but I'm assuming it's 99 cents. But anyway, so I think I'm gonna give this one a try. I know you guys know what I think. So I'm back from the store. I did want to just quickly show you all the items that I ended up hauling. Um, this item I actually did find as I was checking out. I think somebody just kind of threw it on the aisle, but lucky me, I found it. And I think this one expires in July. And of course, I was so excited to find the apron because I literally have been on the hunt for that since they came out. And I know that shop, um, somebody in the Shopaholics group had posted it. Um, and I will be giving these 10 bites a try. I figured, you know, why not? And like I said, I do love my Isadora, so I grabbed three packs um, just because I like to have these um, for quick, easy dinners. Uh, I am very excited to try these um, whole grain mango um, rice and quinoa. I did spot these um, potatoes, and I thought I, you know, I could probably make that with the, um, the spicy simmer sauce. And of course, I'll be adding a few more veggies into the mix. Um, one quick update on the Earthbound salad kits. These were actually 99 cents. Yes, they were actually 99 cents. I couldn't believe it. So I actually tried to go back and grab more, but <laughs> they were actually already gone. So I well, actually did have more of the Caesar salad kits, but I really wanted more of the uh, sweet kale. But of course I did have the uh, Fresh Express, which this one is still 199, but these two are $1. So I would definitely pick those up because that's a great price. And of course, I was very excited to find a Pete's coffee. I love Pete's, especially living here in California, or at least in North Cal. Um, I know Pete's is huge up here, so I was very excited to find these because I do not think that these will go for a dollar anywhere else. So again, guys, this is my little haul for today. Um, Deli, as you saw, it wasn't too crazy, but I did want to still show you guys what I found. So thank you so much for watching. And again, please don't forget to join the 99 Shopaholics on Facebook. I will be um, checking because I, I am a moderator, so I'll be adding you guys if you guys join to request. So thank you so much again for watching. I hope you have a, re a wonderful rest of your week. And as always, don't forget to do the 99.